okay uh, today uh, my topic is kali linux and uh, uh, what is kali linux and uh, we will uh, see in this lecture that the introduction of the kali linux and uh, linux architecture and after that uh, uh, what kali and why should we use it and uh, after uh, uh, some tools we will discuss some tools uh, how the hackers and information security researchers do uh, use Kali Linux uh, for getting fruitful information. If you people doesn't have uh, uh, the basic uh, concepts of uh, information security, I have already uh, provided in this in this series lecture before that. Uh, two three, you can go to the website and and uh, see the previous videos. Uh, so that is. Uh, uh, and so the let's let's we get starts and uh, if we get into the introduction of the kali linux the most advanced penetration testing distribution kali linux what is kali linux the basic question the kali kali linux some some says it's kali kali that is the name on the on a hindu god that uh, uh, that considers uh, some uh, uh, kali mata something like this but uh, the, what the Kali Linux do that uh, uh, that is an operating system, uh, an open source operating system, the Debian based and Linux version, you can say, and that is used for uh, uh, hackers and information security researchers for different type of, of uh, tasks that uh, like penetration testing, security, uh, researching of uh, malware analysis and forensic and reverse engineering uh, and reverse engineering and something. So uh, if uh, Kali is not about the tool, uh, that is not the operating system. You can, you will uh, say that why I'm saying that the Kali is not a tool and not an operating system. They, because it's a frame, it's a platform. A platform now the Kali is, have this uh, different type of distributions that are used by different types of hardwares. You can install Kali on a on uh, on a AMD system. You can install on a server. You can install on VMware. You can install on Virtual Box. You can install it on a small. Uh, small, uh, we can say uh, SBCs, small uh, single board computers, uh, uh, very, very minute uh, uh, processing uh, that is being used. Even uh, using the Kali, uh, we can get into, uh, get into that uh, using the USB, we can boot Kali Linux. Uh, these are the advanced features of Kali. If the Kali is a platform, uh, that makes the jo job easier. And uh, Kali is everywhere and customization. Uh, that is something that uh, that I have already explained that if we get into the platform that provides all the documentations, uh, documentation, how Kali Linux works, how the tools, what are the tools inside near about 6,000 tools are, uh, are available for Kali and by default, because we cannot increase the size of the Kali, uh, by default, uh, uh, cannot increase the size of uh, ISO image during installation. It should not be increased uh, uh, more than the DVD size. So they they removed the previous tools um, or that they removed uh, uh, those types of tools that were not uh, very much fruitful as compared to uh, the new tools. So they inducted uh, the, uh, the Kali distribution and they inducted all the new tools and uh, uh, older tools are also available on their websites. We can download uh, those tools and uh, 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 install them. If someone is comfortable with the older one tools that can download it and, and just giving a few commands and that can be downloaded online and uh, working properly that platform. Uh, 
pre-configured many tools are pre-configured used by hackers and information security researchers and if we talk about uh, the background of kali linux that was that backtrack the the previous version of kali before 2005 that was the backtrack and after that that was the shifted into the kali linux and and uh, now it is being used and that is uh, uh, when we get into login to kali linux and this type of uh, you can say um, display will be available in front of you i will demonstrate you after the presentation of different type of tools and um, that i have we i have already explained that kali is everywhere uh, if we go, if we want to uh, get the kali linux uh, uh, from where we can get uh, we just go at uh, google and say we just go at google and uh, ask it to give me the kali linux and the and the website www.kali.org i'm going to tell you how you can download it and how you can install it in your computer even your computer is windows based even your computer has less less processing power even your computer is on mac based or any other platform linux based you can download and run the kali linux so, uh, operating system on this uh, let's uh, get into that uh, when you get the page kali.org after that you can click on downloads button and if you want to install the kali linux on the virtual machine you can uh, you should have the virtual machine environment in your windows in, in your windows operating system and after that uh, this you can download it from here that is the image that is a uh, kali uh, latest version image machine you just have to download it and start it from virtual machines uh, and if you have some other uh, environment like arm or mobile or cloud even do want to um, use the kubernetes containers docker's environment these are also available to different type of distributions and uh, and uh, when we click on for example if i click on the virtual machine I, after that i have to decide what is the base system of my machine if that is a 32 bit window and that work that is working on hyper versions or vmware or virtual virtual box i have to download accordingly and if in my base version my windows operating system for example for windows 11 that is 64 and if i don't if i am using virtual box in my case over here i will show you i am using virtual box i will download and that is the freeware virtual box so i will uh, download uh, from here that is 2.7 uh, gigabyte so that that will be helpful and uh, if i am using vmware uh, for installing for uh, connecting the curly so i i can use this 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 is the method to download the curly linux uh, after that if we talk about about other applications and things what happens at kali all the tools you need these all the penetration testing and hacking related tools are already inside populated and uh, near about uh, i've already told you 600 tools are for time being inducted at uh, kali linux and we can download it any other tools that has been and that has been removed due to the increased size we can download it from uh, kali.org slash tools and uh, there is a list uh, you can grab it yourself if we talk about the top level tools used by kali linux used by information security researchers and hackers and kiddies and scripters and uh, all the all those don't want to be become uh, and <laughs> those those want to uh, 
get their name into uh, the carrier, get their carrier and in information security. And they used Kali as a basic Kali Linux as a basic tool. And after getting into desk and getting hand dusty into that specific Kali Linux tools, they get into the four advanced tools. Uh, but the prep suit that is an integrated platform for performing security testing of the web application is one of the best tools that is integrated inside Kali Linux by default. And Starkiller, uh, that is uh, PowerShell Empire, is post -exploit exploitation tool. And Hydra, that is very, very powerful tool for, uh, for uh, you can say uh, for attacking uh, on uh, dictionary attack by launching the dictionary attack on different types of servers you just have to give the ip address and um, give the dictionary uh, that uh, tool send one by one uh, uh, name to that name and password to that specific server. For example, I want to get into the file transfer protocol, FTP. I want to access any server using FTP and I don't know what is the uh, what is the uh, username and password. I just give Hydra uh, the IP address of the specific system and give the, uh, give the uh, we can say give the list of uh, the user's name that is being uh, uh, available uh, over the internet and we can define our own uh, to, to our, our own user list and same with the password using crunch crunch is also a software and the john ripper is a tool designed to have and distribution we will see these all types of tools mm, just after and when i get into the that specific presentation and and other tools are uh, metasploit that is very heavy tools and very very uh, widely used by hackers and if we talk about the nmap and zenmap these are used for uh, detection of uh, foreign system that can we can get uh, uh, all the information if the foreign system foreign computer is available there's ip packets what the services are available what are the operating system uh, how what are the vulnerabilities of that system we can get everything into uh, using that nmap and uh, i will give uh, in future a, a complete lecture on nmap and meta exploit because these are the widely used and i would suggest you all to uh, also attend that and if we talk about sql map uh, um, database is the database is the heart of any application over the uh, internet and sql map and uh, sql ninja these two and three types of tools these are Used for the SQL injection to find the vulnerabilities uh, in the in the SQL uh, by web applications, uh, we can get into the X, X, uh, SQL, uh, get the tables data, get the schema, and get all the information uh, using SQL map and. Uh, and the next uh, network analyzer tool, and uh, that is Wireshark. Uh, I didn't have written over here. That is the Wireshark. Wireshark is even Wireshark also a very useful tool. And uh, I have uh, chosen all the you, you uh, highly uh, used tools by uh, the security researchers. And uh, using the Wireshark, you can find. Uh, the password, what the password has been sent, what the credentials has been sent over the internet, over the network layer to towards uh, uh, one end, one system to the other system. Even uh, if you are uh, the man of the middle, you can get all the packets and Wireshark helps to open all these packets and one can get the data if data is not encrypted and Swiss nice and Puff is also there. And uh, these were uh, all about the presentation. Let's we proceed towards some uh, some live session for demonstration of the how the tools works.
and how the Kali works. If we talk about uh, Kali Linux, that is uh, what I have installed over here. That is the virtual box. In my system, that is VirtualBox 7.0, you can install the latest system from, uh, from VirtualBox website that is, and uh, that is free of cost. And uh, you doesn't have any, anything to pay phone to the VirtualBox and Oracle. That is the Oracle VM. That is the platform that runs the virtual machines. So uh, whenever I download, I download them. I download any type of uh, machine that is being uh, available. Uh, for example, in my case, let me show you that where it is available. If we talk about uh, that, should be VM machine. And here, after unzipping, I got this Kali twenty twenty three dot one minus virtual box amd 64 and these are all the files i got that after downloading this and uh, what i did i just start from here and start a new machine add a new or new new machine and then give the path to that specific and after that, I just click on start. And when I click on start, it will take some time. And when, what, what that is, that is saying that is 802 USB one. Seems like the presenter has connect connectivity issues. Uh, we also can see what he's doing on the screen. Shahab Fahad, are you, are you there? Well, if, in the meantime, when the presenter reconnects, and if you have any question, you can use the hand reaction to raise the question or leave a comment in the chat. So let's wait for him for a little bit. Sorry for the inconvenience. Am I audible? Yes, you are. You are back. Uh, we we were saying that we can see what you were showing on the screen. If you can share the screen again. Sure. And uh, in yeah, my yeah, we can see. Oh, it. Okay. In my case. Uh, um, and the Kali is saying that the virtual box is configured for the uh, interfaces of USB wireless LAN adopter. Please change it. And uh, I just get into, again, screen sharing has been stopped. Don't worry because uh, I will share it um, because that will take, you can say, some, because whenever I change all the things that will impact overall the environment.
Sorry, Shabahat, we lost your screen again. I have to restart the this. I have to close the VM. Then I have to again open the virtual machine. I'm receiving some comments um, that if you can repeat when you restore from the start because we do are having internet problems. Okay, let me delete this and uh, get from the start. I was just doing to save the time, but Before that, I will fix it. Uh, anybody have any question? So we can uh, continue along with all the things. If, if anybody has any question, please. Since we have two questions, uh, some people uh, have raised their questions, so let's see what they have to say. Um, first, Emmanuel. Hello. Hello. Yes, please. I'm here. Thank you very much uh, for the presentation. Uh, my question has to do with a friend who had a big issue of his phone uh, being hacked to the point that even when he's talking, the person can hear what he's saying, his messages, his everything. But the person was not going to use the information um, like his account details and, and all that. But he wanted to just prove to him that he has access to everything, including his microphone on phone. It was very shocking. So I don't know what really happened and how can we protect ourselves from situations like this? Uh, that is the first phase, first phase of hacking that uh, that would say it uh, enumeration, getting the information, gathering information. And uh, in, in gathering information, we, uh, we take different types of measures 
uh, if I got into that uh, Kali, I will show you that uh, during enumeration methodology and during getting the information uh, of the user, uh, that is just to get the information, that get the valuable information after that uh, to sell them to that specific uh, whatever uh, required by the different type of people. And uh, how, how we can avoid, how we can, uh, we can get rid of this thing to be hacked by any kiddies or any type of hacker and researcher. Uh, I will say, doesn't say in this type researcher, they are all the hackers to get into the uh, personal data of uh, how can we get? First of all, uh, whenever we give the phone to our child, that uh, our child uh, download different types of uh, softwares, uh, gaming softwares, and with those gaming, uh, even um, getting, uh, getting the, uh, we can say getting the, uh, the all the privileges uh, getting all the privileges from um, the phone with the microphone with the camera even that is the game that doesn't requires the camera and the microphone and speaker even speaker you can say but other context details and these types of things that get the permission during installation uh, by ourselves also and by our uh, little ones and uh, these are being used by the and uh, hackers uh, that even you are not using your phone, but your phone is using your mic and uh, your uh, uh, camera uh, for getting your information. So uh, how can we get rid of this? The questions there, uh, educate your children. That is very hard. Educate even keep in your mind yourself whenever installing a new software inside our mobile. And the third one, never ever click on any type of email or promotions or anything that you even didn't entrust it. And you just got that click and that click can fix you all. Okay, got it. Thank you. We have another question from Dr. Jane. Uh, let's see what they have to say. Oh, they seem they don't have a microphone because I don't. I can ask them to. Uh, you you can uh, please take a next question. Uh, even though Kali Kali is available, if anybody is there for any question, I am. Uh, we have another question. Let's see what they have to say. Okay, by default. Uh, okay, please. Uh, here, I'm wondering if I pronounce it correctly. Uh, what is your question? Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. I'm calling from Ghana. Sorry? Uh, Hello. Hello. Uh, you are audible. Please. Good. My question has to do with uh, after after hacking. What what happens? Is there any way to retrieve your information? Can you please repeat? After hacking, what happens? Yeah. In case you oh. have been hacked. Okay, after hacking what? Your phone or Gmail or what uh, are you? What are the after, steps, the modalities to retrieve your information? Uh, how to uh, get the retrieve the information? Uh, okay. Uh, if if someone is being someone system has been hacked, how to uh, get all the information back? That uh, that we can can't say, that we cannot get back. 
because uh, there are replica that the replica of the copies has been submitted by the hackers to some somewhere else so uh, we can't say that uh, the hacked data can be retrieved back but if we uh, talk about the hacked data in terms of uh, loss of account for example someone has steal my uh, facebook or uh, google id and after that uh, after that he fraudulently used that uh, how to get back we should use uh, uh, two factor authentications and uh, backup emails of our accounts and and these types of things we can use do but uh, uh, literally saying that uh, if someone is hacked that data cannot we can't say that that its integrity is the same that has been re retrieved back impossible uh, all right my second question sir hello yes, sir please hello my second question sir okay please please aha uh, -huh. uh what are the legal measures for you to get the uh, the penetrators arrest sorry uh, i can't understand what you want to ask is there any legal measures legal measures if, if we don't talk... legal, me legal measures to get it... yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. people arrest i'm talking about the penetrators uh, let me tell you if we talk about the legal uh, if you talk about the legal uh, uh, these are these are different for the different countries if the country itself has and uh, the information security laws and policies and what uh, written in the law and what is the uh, what is uh, the crime and what is its uh, you can say punishment is written in the law then uh, we can sue and we can proceed further but that depends upon country to country vary that varies uh, okay. hello yeah hello okay let me let me proceed further uh, let me show you how uh, how many tools are there how many tools are there and uh, uh, how these tools works let me please proceed further and uh, we will take uh, further questions and uh, after after this completion of uh, show of these tools okay uh, if we talk about uh, i have uh, i have uh, uh, run the kali linux in the virtual box oracle vm virtual box and after that this type of display has been shown in front of you and 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 just like windows operating system if we click on the top right uh, sorry top left corner these are the applications and uh, if we, we can see we can see there is number one you can see information gathering the first phase of hacking is the information gathering and there are different types of tools dns analysis id three tools for the DNS analysis, IDS and IPS identification and live host identification are and NetCat and network port and scanner. That was the NMAP tool uh, you can see over here that is used for the information gathering and, uh, uh, and for the many tools are available. And the second, if we, get into the second tool that is the vulnerability analysis uh, what are the vulnerabilities uh, these detects all the vulnerabilities fuzzling tool and voice over ip tools and some nicto and nmap and uh, if the most widely used tools are uh, uh, web application analysis tools uh, penetration testers use these tools for uh, for testing of web application before deployment after testing they deploy the websites on the servers because uh, if some sensitive information hacked by the hackers that will be uh, very dangerous and uh, in on the web application 
uh, on the web application analysis tool, the Brepsuit and Comics and Skipfish, SQL, WP Scan, WordPress, that is the most widely used WordPress websites and WordPress website security scanner tool that is built in available in the Kali Linux. And many other tools are also available like uh, uh, Nikto and uh, uh, what web and web crawler fuzzler and wordpress can already discuss and the, uh, if we talk about the fourth one that is database assessment if i click on this here are two tools sql light database browser and sql map uh, many tools are also available uh, for sql uh, I told you SQL Ninja and uh, uh, SQL Map already available over here. If we talk about the password attacks, that how uh, how the passwords can be break down, how we get the password of any system, how can we get into any any server? Uh, we we use these one of the tools for offline tools. These are the uh, the, there are John Ripper, very, very good tool, and uh, some Hydra. And if we talk about Hydra graphical, that, that I will, uh, if I got some time, I will show you how Hydra graphical works because uh, uh, many uh, new users and the kiddies uh, uh, and the common user, uh, they are more easier and more convenient uh, at GUI applications. So that is the graphical user interface for Hydra. I will show you how Hydra works and uh, uh, for uh, attacking on the password and uh, getting the password hash. Some passwords have most of the passwords uh, saved on the database using hashes. So we can retrieve those, we can get those, those hash and give using their tools, we can uh, unpack them and the crawler and crunch and um, John Ripper world, world list. That, that is the world list I was talking about that, uh, and that some lists are available by default. We can get those lists for uh, sending, uh, for using and uh, sending them to the uh, uh, victim, um, victim machine. Uh, the world list are by default available near about 600 MB. If you talk about the wireless attack, everybody asks me, so how we can hack the uh, Wi-Fi of my uh, fellow and how we can get into the Wi-Fi. And if you get into the Wi-Fi, you get into the router. If you get into the router, you can get into the uh, computer and mobile phone. And if you get into the computer and mobile phone, you get into all the data and all the files that are available in that mobile phone and in that computer. So the wireless tools, these are, uh, these are, uh, if uh, in, my, in future, the foreign cracker that is very useful tool, but, uh, and the hackers are already also used and some tools are not available over here, like NG Ninja and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, you can say uh, do, uh, for uh, and using those tools, we can get into the Wi-Fi of any any system, any fellow. Uh, and uh, get using the reverse engineering, these are also very useful tools. The reverse engineering tools, using them, uh, we can. Uh, these are used for. Uh, we can say for forensic purposes, we can you check them that who has get into the my mobile and uh, what the data has been copied or saved or whatever has been uh, performed by this exe. What the actions has been performed by this exe uh, that it can be used by reverse engineering. And uh, uh, if uh, And further, if we got into the post exploitation, 
and uh, whenever the hacker get into your and uh, sorry i forget the sniffing and, and um, spoofing tools and these are the wire sharks and responders these are the wire sharks and responder and uh, mini cord if we talk about the if we talk about post exploitation tools uh, whenever any hacker get into your system uh, they, they use post exploitation tool because post they when they hack the system when they hack the system you use when when the hacker hack your system they use post exploitation tools to uh, to remove their fingerprints to re remove your footprints so, so that no one can reach back to them and uh, same the many tools are available for forensic purpose and reporting tools and uh, reporting these are the tools to these are the tools that are uh, being used by uh, uh, reporting uh, used by the uh, researchers for reporting purposes and if we talk about the social engineering tool, these are the most uh, efficient and I will always recommend that uh, we avoid um, if uh, if you got the social if you caught in the social engineering you will you will lose everything uh, a hacker cannot uh, get into your data but your friend get into your data easily so whenever you get in so whenever your friend get into your data uh, how how he get into the if i i am using the password and i always write do, those password in my diary uh, and uh, on the cup of tea i can share it with my friend oh can you please uh, what is the password of your office system i just want to send an email okay okay this is my password i just uh, give it even a hacker want to uh, get into your system that is more difficult he has to use some resources he has to use some efforts but uh, uh, using the social engineering you can hack easily so be avoid very 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 strict on to that specific uh, social avoid the social engineering and uh, exploit database these are other some tools are available uh, if anybody has any question can uh, please ask me so that after that uh, we i will show you one tool and that is hydra uh, any question please we have some questions let's see um, for example emmanuel let's see what they have to say so all right. Someone can hear me, please. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. All right. So uh, I read about uh, the uh, advanced operating system, uh, and I came up across how the how the Linux kernel uh, was developed, and it was an open source uh, operating system. So I wanted to know if this uh, Kali Linux uh, Linux it is a, a version of Linux kernel, so that is one. Then, if it is, then of course it is, it is an open source uh, kernel, which means uh, one can uh, use it to now interpret uh, it to fit it into any uh, device that he wants to operate. Maybe like a car, you can put it into the car, then uh, device all kind of. Uh, uh, controls, I cannot see it on the dashboard like your computer, and that can absolutely improve uh, performance and things like, like that. Just thinking why, so I don't know if that is applicable. That's my question. Sorry, your question was not uh, properly audible, uh, but uh, uh, I, I got uh, a little bit your point. Hope I can clear you. Uh, Kali Linux installed 
uh, use the Linux kernel and in, in presently it is in my system if I talking about my system presently it is this kernel is being run by the VM machine that is VM virtual box that is the window application installed on the window system over this window 11 and after that uh, the VMware V virtual machine of Kali has been uh, run over virtual box over here okay that is uh, you can say uh, you can say that is uh, some uh, virtualization or hypervision techniques Okay, any okay. other questions? So, uh, yeah, so yeah. I'm just asking, uh, can we, uh, can a programmer now impute his own uh, detail, maybe his own information to kind of suit what he wants to operate on? Uh, if, we, if we talk about uh, uh, what a programmer want uh, to get into that specific kernel and change it uh, very frankly saying that uh, uh, we can because it's open source we can change its files and all the things whatever inside that system is available even we can change uh, further uh, all even we can degrade or upgrade it accordingly uh, whatever the the information of operating system available inside that. So uh, uh, better we should uh, uh, stick on to that, uh, uh, how we can utilize it for benefit uh, rather than we uh, become a programmer and uh, want to change uh, what, how does backend works, how we can change its settings and how by other things, right? Yeah. Okay, let me show you, uh, we are getting out of time and uh, let me show you uh, how one tool, I will discuss all the tools one by one in, in future lectures. We will have a complete detail of uh, one and or two tools or from each, uh, phases of hacking and uh, how uh, those works and how uh, how uh, output can get and how one tool input output is utilized by the other second tool output uh, but uh, today i just want to show you uh, on the password attacks i have told you that uh, uh, we can use hydra uh, we can use Hydra graphical interface. I will show you. Uh, you can click on password attacks or number five, and after that, Hydra dash graphical. And after clicking this, you can see and the Hydra X Hydra is available at your screen. And uh, the if we talk about the target we can provide the list of the target that is the target machine uh, in my case 127.0.0.1 that is itself it's a loopback ip this is the system and uh, if we uh, we want what type of protocols we want to get into that machine uh, i want to for example i want to get into that machine using http if that is acting as a web server or FTP, even if there is SQL server installed or SQL services are available. So if I choose MySQL or Microsoft SQL uh, like this, I just uh, Telnet, I want to get into some system using Telnet uh, if uh, that is being used or anything and uh, these all that list are available we just have to select one from this protocol and the port if if we talk about the port telnet operates on 22 port and if we talk about ftp that operates on 21 port i will i will use telnet or ftp whatever if here 
we will provide its port 22 that is the software ports whenever any protocol gets into uh, in, into that uh, system and that use the software ports like uh, our web server our web services we use 80 ports and on secure we use 443 port and uh, uh, there, there are some other options we use SSL or older SSL be verbal uh, uh, show attempts I will check this box and uh, after those after the on getting on the second tab what are the username I will can provide the username list some list uh, uh, if I click on here if I click on here this if I click on this checkbox and uh, you can see and there is uh, there is a select user list menu available for me i can select any list uh, from a, a system that can be downloaded uh, yeah, it can be even we can make it using crunch i will uh, in tell you in the future how can i give it uh, username root and i create a list over here uh, using uh, create a document an empty document for example list and uh, here is the, that is name is not the list but uh, so uh, for example i gave uh, admin i gave uh, kali i gave linux i gave test i gave abc for example, these are five, these are the uh, list of LSIT. These are the username that has been selected. So uh, after that, no, nothing, don't change anything and just get the start. You can see the command written on the bottom of this Hydra minus S. 22 port minus v using root as a username and minus p password has been defined from the list and uh, password from the list and after that uh, password from the list and attempts 16 attempts at a time with this protocol telnet and whenever i click on start what it does, it just send one by one all the passwords uh, from the list. And if, if that is connected, that will show that the connection has been made. If that is not connected using Telnet or pro protocol, that will uh, answer like this error or disable, whatever. But uh, uh, you can see that we try to log in this this target using the password list with at second number at third and and child with terminating cannot connect it so using this this is the very simple tool using this we can uh, we can find the the password of any system we can attack launch the attack on any system uh, any question, please? Uh, five minutes. Question. Let's make uh, Michael what they have to say. Hello. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, good afternoon, and thanks for the elaborate uh, 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 explanation. I just want to ask two questions. One: Is it possible to track? a hacker that hacked into your system, one. Number two, uh, when we send you RL to people, are we getting more prone? Are we making ourselves more prone to hacking? Like uh, LinkedIn URL, whatever URL, thanks. Oh, okay, first, first of all, your question is how can we get back into the hacker? The, uh, mm, we can say the professional hacker cannot can't be caught and uh, how because they use innocent systems they use proxies they use multiple types of different uh, different versions of uh, 
uh, circuits so uh, even using uh, using backtrack and using and uh, using the reverse engineering it is very difficult to get back to that specific uh, hacker for example uh, if uh, someone has sent a malware to your system and that malware sends data your pictures towards that specific ip and uh, you get into that ip and find where it is located uh, and uh, that is located at nigeria for example and uh, or egypt uh, and you go there uh, physically locate that man even then that man doesn't know because there would be uh, there would be an other worm or an other malware that that uh, handles that specific folder and sending that to some other we call it bot they 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 use different types of bots and so we can't find who is the legitimate uh, hacker and who is the actual hacker you know, who are the innocent and uh, secondly i'm available at aiu side you can you can ask them any question they will reach to me okay um we have another question from ike let's see what they have to say hello 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 can you hear me yes okay you can hear me yes all right um there are two questions i want to ask number one is please uh we have white and black hackers please can our presenter throw a little light on the white and black hacker uh, that is number one question okay can I go ahead? Please. Okay, the number two question is, uh, hackers are their licensed, are they officially licensed hackers, people who get licensed to hack? So these are my two questions, official hacking and uh, black and white hackers, please. Thank uh, you. Okay. Okay, as uh, we know that uh, black and white hat hackers, these, and uh, uh, you can say uh, we have created our own uh, uh, terminologies and the man who is uh, a legitimate hacker that is sponsored by the, by the government, uh, we say yeah. them the white hat, but uh, uh, one is uh, very uh, useful for uh, for this country but that is not useful for the other can country and one is useful okay. for the other and that is not use uh, that is not good for the uh, the previous one country so uh, definition is different even i never says it um, ethical hacking there is nothing with the do the you are doing the hacking and you say it ethical ethics are not there in the hacking uh, you can uh, take the intentions of your uh, opponent uh, using them uh, as a legitimate user and uh, getting their uh, uh, um, you can say penetration testing as an information security researcher that we can say but uh, without uh, the without getting uh, the permission of any other user even you are in your country or you are sponsored or you are not sponsored or you are just kidding or you are just doing for uh, getting fun you are just doing to get, earn money you are just doing to get some information that is everything is uh, you can say that is wrong okay Okay, so the like it didn't trick my second question whether people can be licensed to hack. Uh, these uh, you can say uh, that is uh, some uh, top level, high level, 
high level authorities uh, who use them and even you if we get all the details of uh, the known hackers uh, the there doesn't have a good ending at the end so better to be uh, ethical and neither to be unethical okay it's noted please max please okay um uh, we have another question and if you want let's make this the last question from saliso let's see what they have to say thank you Hello? Good, good day everyone can you hear me please yes you are audible please. yes Thank you so much, sir. As an information technology researcher, please, I have this simple question, sir. Uh, uh, example of uh, uh, Russia hacking US election. If uh, Russia can hack a, a big country like United States during their election, that really shows that uh, hacking is a big business. So my question goes to that, uh, based on that, that why, why buying antivirus when they cannot prevent hacking, for example? Is there any way that, or any recommended antivirus that uh, promptly detects this hacking? And uh, what are the recommended sites or organizations that one can quickly run to in case of uh, this sudden hacking for an organization. Thank you so much. Uh, so if you talk about uh, uh, that who is safe, no one is safe. Okay. Even sitting at uh, some uh, very, very discreet or very, very secure organizations, even uh, if you talk about the Iranians at uh, near about uh, uh, 2005, Astrachnets, just a virus and that uh, get into their, uh, what we can say that get into their, uh, uh, and their centrifugal plants and, and they washed all the data and they, they were off. You can search it for, you, you can say no one, no one is safe. Number one, number two, if, uh, why we are using antiviruses? Uh, very frankly saying, I am a security researcher. I, I doesn't use any type of, uh, any type of uh, virus, antivirus, because um, I, I, I would consider, because uh, those virus, antiviruses uh, gets your data and send them to their, uh, their companies, and they use them, use those data for uh, getting the information of all the uh, processes running on your system and what the, what for making the analysis, what are the behaviors of the system that slows down your system. So I always use uh, uh, by default antivirus provided by Windows operating system. And uh, by the way, I always say that if we're using the operating system of Windows, if we're using the operating system of uh, uh, any other distribution, Mac, we are uh, using their products. We are using them. So if I, I send my picture on the Facebook, then I say that, oh, I don't want to send them. Uh, but the face, even deleting on that Facebook, that picture is available after many, many years. Of, so uh, nothing uh, is safe in this world and uh, that is better we expose minimum and minimum that's the lost bottom line thank you so much welcome thank you thank you all the audience Thank you, Shafaha. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for your patience. And see you tomorrow at the same hour. Bye-bye. Uh, okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Bye bye everyone. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Th